Hello and welcome to Flight Path. I'm Chris Jones, Chief Marketing Officer at McCarran International Airport. It's been another busy year in terms of passenger volume at the airport, but there's much more to McCarran than numbers. Here's a look at some outreach activities in which we participated that didn't make the headlines. As gateway to Las Vegas for nearly half of all visitors, providing the best customer experience possible is a top priority. I believe customer service is critical at the airport because we're the first and last look of Las Vegas. You know, to us, we're the airport, but to our visitors, we're part of Las Vegas. And that is what they're coming for, and that's what we hope brings them back. The airport is made up of so many different agencies, so many different pieces, but to our customer, they want a seamless experience. And by putting in this customer service culture, that provides them that smooth, efficient experience. As part of the Mays program, each year the Department of Aviation recognizes two employees who have gone above and beyond to provide outstanding customer service. You're the unsung heroes of the tourism industry. This year's winners were treated to a surprise visit by former Mayor Oscar Goodman, who recognized them for their achievements as hospitality heroes. The Voices of Vegas program enhances customer service by extending the Las Vegas experience to the airport through music. Look me a lady tonight. In addition to playing Vegas only music all the time, the program includes live performances featuring a variety of musical genres. No city in America depends more than Las Vegas on aviation and the promotion and travel and tourism. Maintaining relationships and keeping up on the latest industry trends is vital to securing additional air service to Las Vegas and meeting customer service expectations. We're the number two O&D uh, origin and destination airport in the nation. We pride ourselves on that. In 2017, airport staff participated in hosting Routes Americas, the American Association of Airport Executives Conference, and the Boyd Aviation Forecast Summit. It is absolutely crucial to stay on top of the industry. We are such a dynamic, ever evolving industry in aviation. And so we need to send our staff to worldwide type of conferences to keep up on the industry. Not only do we learn, we get to share what we're doing at McCarran, and we always have a lot of interest in that. In support of Las Vegas' tourism-driven economy, the airport was pleased to welcome newcomer Eurowings to the lineup. The low-cost German carrier offered non-stop seasonal flights between Las Vegas and Cologne from June through October. On the domestic front, Delta, Spirit, and Frontier Airlines also contributed to record-breaking growth. October 2017 was McCarran's busiest month ever. McCarran is the economic engine that drives this dynamic destination, but helping those in need on a local level is just as important as helping to fill hotel rooms with visitors from around the world. We have a community enrichment team here at the Department of Aviation, which I think is just a crucial element of us, the airport staff, going out to the community and helping and volunteering. But it has had really a dual type of benefit. The employees work side by side with each other where they just don't normally get to in the course of their regular shift. And it just is such a feel good and wonderful activity to help the community regardless of what it is. This year, the community enrichment team donated time and talent on their off hours to charitable organizations including the Shade Tree Shelter, Ronald McDonald House, and the Miracle League of Las Vegas. In addition, approximately 40 employees and their family members from Landside Operations volunteered at Spring Mountain Ranch to paint fences and realign rocks on the walking trails. Right on the runway, look at that. For the fifth year in a row, airlines, concessions, and other airport tenants joined the Department of Aviation at Paper Plane Palooza. With help from airport mentors, youth from the Boys and Girls Clubs of Southern Nevada created paper airplanes and competed in distance and accuracy throws. This is the best plane ever because I <laughs> Food and fun was had by everyone, and each child went home with much needed school supplies. Nothing like competition amongst the entire airport team, our tenants, ourselves, the airlines, that help the kids really get introduced to aviation. 
and the generosity of our tenants and our airlines that supply the children with back to school needs. Come on, man. McCarran International Airport, Allegiant Airlines, and the Ark of the United States co hosted the first Wings for Autism in Las Vegas. What's your name? The event gave more than 300 future travelers the opportunity to experience traveling by air in a safe and realistic environment. They go inside and they find their seat, so they're all now looking for their seat. This year, more than 25 team members visited nearby Gene Ward Elementary School for Nevada Reading Week. Reading is a valuable skill because it's fundamental. You have to know how to do it no matter what you choose to do in life. Exposing students to careers in aviation while encouraging them to stay in school and study hard is also an airport tradition. I personally love it because we get to talk about the airport. We get to introduce them to the whole aviation industry. I share with them how much we have to read a day, what the pilots have to read each and every day, what an airline ticket agent has to read each and every day. So reading is an essential factor for education and for growth. And if you know it's on the wheel of that aircraft, there's all the fans on it because they're cool in the breeze. McCarran also hosted a behind-the-scenes tour for a group of high school students participating in the University of Nevada Las Vegas's Summer Transportation Institute program. I never knew that that the airport ran like this, like everything is so organized. The visit emphasized the importance of aviation to the local economy and enlightened students about the variety of potential careers within the industry. The airport's primary objective will always be to help visitors get to and from Southern Nevada by air as safely and efficiently as possible, while providing a customer experience on par with the city we're privileged to serve. But at its core, the airport is about people helping people. In response to the tragic events of 1 October, the airport was able to provide its shuttle buses to help transport concert goers to nearby aid centers. On behalf of Clark County Fire Department, Metropolitan Police, TSA Honor Guard, welcome to Las Vegas. Thank you for your service. Vegas the airport also facilitated the annual Salute to the Troops, a celebration where wounded service members are flown on a special American Airlines charter flight to Las Vegas for an all expenses paid experience of a lifetime. Year's End saw the return of the student choir from nearby Doris French Elementary School to help kick off the holiday season at the airport. McCarran is an important part of the local, national, and global community. It's a hub that connects countries and commerce, a portal that bridges passengers and places, and that's why people will always be at the heart of our mission. Nearly 100 aircraft were on static display at Henderson Executive Airport as part of this year's NBAA Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition. The premier trade show is a can't-miss event. Here's what happened. The National Business Aviation Association, or NBAA, is the leading organization for companies that rely on general aviation aircraft to help make their businesses more efficient, productive, and successful. The NBAA convention and exhibition brings industry leaders together in Las Vegas to conduct business, purchase aircraft, and make decisions about the future of general aviation. And this year, they also helped the association celebrate its milestone 70th anniversary. As it draws in a lot of traffic, we have 96 aircraft on static display. Also brings about 100 other business aircraft into the airport. It has a $24 million economic impact. Um, it brings in premier business jets, business jet owners. Gives them a chance to get together, have discussions about safety and efficiency. As Clark County's premier general aviation facility, Henderson Executive Airport is the perfect place to host a portion of the world's largest civil aviation trade show with a static display. During the show, part of the airport ramp was transformed into an airplane showroom, featuring rows of aircraft from multiple manufacturers that often use the venue to showcase their newest products. The static display allows buyers from around the globe to evaluate a wide spectrum of options in person and in one location. Henderson is a spectacular airport for this particular event. Closely located uh, to downtown Las Vegas, truly professional team of people. But you know, Las Vegas has always been a great place for us to host this convention. It's very much a pro-business atmosphere. There's great infrastructure. There's a lot of energy here. In addition to the outdoor display at Henderson, the three-day event showcases some of the latest technological advancements in aviation and boasts more than 1,000 exhibits at the Las Vegas Convention Center. 
The National Business Aviation Association is the world's largest event for business aviation operators. We have over 12,000 companies in the United States that rely on business aviation to meet at least some portion of their transportation challenges. Once a year, we all come together and celebrate the new products and technologies uh, that are part of this magnificent industry. The NBAA Business Aviation Convention and Exhibition has something for everyone. For manufacturers and exhibitors, the show attracts high-end clientele and potential buyers from around the world. For Las Vegas, the convention means 30,000 visitors and an economic boost to the local economy of more than $20 million. For attendees, Southern Nevada is the perfect location for this type of convention. It's always the latest and greatest in technology, cutting edge, you see it here, and the weather here is perfect. Planning the event takes more than a year, with nearly a week and a half of construction and setup required just to put all the aircraft and temporary structures in place. Meanwhile, Henderson Executive Airport remains open for business. The conference also highlights the value of general aviation to the local community and helps generate repeat business for Las Vegas and Henderson Executive Airport. To provide additional retail options for McCarran customers, new shops are coming to the D-Gates. Here's what customers can expect to see when the project's completed. Known as the Runway Shops, the new retail area will provide customers a more diverse retail mix with newer trending brands. Five new retail outlets will be located in the D-Gates Rotunda and will be easily accessible from both Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. Four stores will feature brands that are new to McCarran. McCarran customers can purchase the popular plastic wrist watches at the new Swatch Kiosk. The clean and simple store concept will let the bright colors and creative designs of the unique Swiss-made timepieces shine. Edgy Urban Decay will also join the McCarran lineup offering customers a variety of cosmetics ranging from award-winning eyeliners to smudge-proof mascaras. Contemporary apparel boutique M. Frederick boasts a wide range of stylish, trendy apparel and accessories for women, men, and children in an eclectic yet warm and welcoming ambiance. Fifth and Sunset sells a variety of stylish eyewear for the outdoors. Tech on the Go will expand its offerings at McCarran with another location at the Runway Shops, where customers can find an array of electronics for travelers from headphones and chargers to cell phone accessories and MP3 players. Work on the $1.5 million project began in August 2017 when power, data, and fire suppression capabilities were added. When the retail area is completed, customers will enjoy a fresh mix of stores that are easy to get to for a quick peek or extended browsing experience. Automated screening lanes were recently installed at Terminal 3's security checkpoint. These new lanes have been upgraded with state-of-the-art technology that enhances security and improves the customer experience. Automated screening lanes are an innovative technology that enhances the passenger screening process. Three lanes have been converted at the Terminal 3 security checkpoint. Passengers start the process by showing a TSA officer their boarding pass and identification. Then the passenger will be directed to one of these spaces where an empty bin will automatically dispense below the stainless steel countertop. Several passengers can place their items in bins simultaneously. The bins are 25% larger and are able to hold a rolling bag. Unique radio frequency identification, RFID tags, are attached to each bin, allowing for additional accountability of travelers carry on property as they move throughout the security screening process. My favorite part is on the security perspective. It's the having the RFID tags and understanding the, the, which bag is which as it goes through the system. On an efficiency perspective, it's the multiple divest, allows folks to not wait behind that person who is trying to get their stuff through the system. Once a passenger has placed all of their items in the bin, they simply push it back to the automated conveyor belt, which moves bins into the x-ray machine. The new lanes can automatically divert any carry-on bag that may contain prohibited items to a separate location. This allows other travelers' belongings to continue through the screening process uninterrupted. It makes improvements in multiple areas that really allow our officers to have better tools, better equipment, so that we have improved security, but we also get improved efficiency. And that's the combination. We want to be more effective and more efficient. A camera takes a photograph of each bin and links it to the x-ray image, which helps speed up the process if the bag is diverted to a secondary inspection. Finally, the automated conveyor belt returns the empty bins to the front of the security checkpoint for the process to begin again. 
Automated screening lanes are in use at airports across the United States. McCarran partnered with the TSA when exploring the state-of-the-art checkpoint technology that enhances efficiencies while decreasing the amount of time travelers spend in the security screening process. Terminal 1 has some new sparkle and shine thanks to a modernization project in ticketing and baggage claim. Here's a look at the finished results. To enhance our passengers' overall travel experience, a multi-million dollar project modernized the facilities at Terminal 1. Outside, improvements on the departures curb include metallic skycap podiums along with new doors and entryways. Inside, Terminal 1's ticketing areas were transformed into a lighter, brighter lobby with new terrazzo floors and decorative column treatments. A new restroom, conveniently located in the center, was also added. New in-floor electrical ductwork increases McCarran's ability to support self-service kiosks. Easy to read signage, new ticket counters, updated finishes, and a fresh coat of white paint on the walls and ceilings round out the improvements which will better serve our travelers. It really enhances the customer experience. It's a great first impression for our customers. Every podium now has their own scale, which helps expedite customer processing. In baggage claim, an intricate mosaic was added, showcasing the iconic landmarks that have defined the Las Vegas skyline, both past and present. The Terminal 1 improvements are just one more way the airport strives to be on par with the entertainment capital of the world McCarran Airport is so proud to serve. To reach out to our growing number of Hispanic customers, each episode of Flight Path features a segment in Spanish with English subtitles. Here's Gabriela Miro to tell us more about how ride sharing works at McCarran. El viaje compartido se ha convertido en un método popular de transporte. Mediante el uso de aplicaciones para teléfonos móviles, las compañías de redes de transporte conectan a los clientes con los conductores que brindan viajes utilizando sus propios vehículos. Tanto Uber como Lyft están autorizados para proporcionar servicios de viaje compartido en McCarran, lo que brinda a los pasajeros otra opción para llegar y salir del aeropuerto. El uso de los servicios de viaje compartido en McCarran es simple. Primero, recoja sus maletas de equipaje y luego siga los letreros que dicen Rideshare en el lugar de recogida designado. En el Terminal 1, el lugar designado se encuentra en el nivel 2M del garaje de estacionamiento. Desde el reclamo de equipaje, tome el ascensor cerca de la puerta 2 hasta el nivel 2. Cruce el puente de peatones al garaje de estacionamiento y tome el ascensor al nivel 2M. El área de recogida en el Terminal 3 está ubicada en el nivel de ballet del estacionamiento. Desde la reclamación de equipaje, tome el elevador cerca de la puerta 52, 54 o 56 hasta el nivel 1 y cruce el puente peatonal hacia el garaje y tome el ascensor hacia el ballet. Simplemente use la aplicación en su dispositivo móvil para solicitar un conductor que lo recibirá en un puesto de estacionamiento alfanumérico designado. Los pasajeros que consiguen transporte al aeropuerto pueden ser dejados en las salidas del de Terminal 1 o el Terminal 3. Por supuesto, taxis, limusinas y autobuses están disponibles para el transporte de pasajeros que necesitan transportación. Para una lista completa de servicios de transporte en el aeropuerto, visite mccarran.com y seleccione Transporte. To provide on-the-go mothers a private place to breastfeed or pump while at the airport, McCarran recently installed several nursing suites. Here's a look at this new amenity. The 32-square-foot modular suites were purchased from Mamava, a Vermont-based company dedicated to transforming the culture of breastfeeding. The portable pods give traveling mothers a quiet, clean, and comfortable place to breastfeed or pump and are conveniently located in Terminal 1 and Terminal 3. We're always trying to improve customer experience uh, for our passengers and guests that are coming through the airport, and this is just another way that we can enhance that. The suites are equipped with mechanical smart locks. To access the suite, simply download the MamaBa app or call the McCarran service desk. Once inside, a deadbolt lock ensures privacy while indicating whether the suite is occupied or available for use. All suites feature a table perfectly suited for a breast pump and two benches to comfortably accommodate a mom, her luggage, children, partner, or other necessities. In addition, the suites have interior outlets and USB ports so moms can charge their phones, power a breast pump, or plug in any mobile device while relaxing. 
This is something that provides a unique aspect of privacy for the mothers that are nursing. Um, it allows them to get away from the sounds, and the noise, and the distraction, and take care of everything they need to take care of. For locations, visit McCarran.com and select Relax, then Nursing Suites under Airport Amenities. The skyline of Las Vegas is ever-changing. We recently showed you the new FAA Air Traffic Control Tower, the second tallest in the United States. That state-of-the-art structure made the old facility obsolete, so in true Vegas style, it had to come down. Let's take a look. The old FAA tower has been an important part of McCarran's amazing growth. When it opened in 1983, the airport served 10.3 million passengers a year. Today, McCarran handles nearly 140,000 travelers, making Las Vegas' Gateway Airport one of the busiest in the country. To keep pace with growth, a new state-of-the-art tower opened in August 2016 and the outdated tower was decommissioned. The old air traffic control tower consisted of the control cab perched on top of four individual legs that contained stairs, an elevator, plumbing, and cable shafts. Crews began the multi-phase demolition in early March 2017. Tearing down the old structure was no easy task. The 180-foot tower was located on a small site surrounded by a fence line, two elevated trams serving the C and D gates, and critical utilities. This meant the only viable way to demolish the tower was the same way it went up, one brick at a time. Once the antenna was removed, the cab was next to go. After waiting for favorable wind conditions, a carefully positioned crane did all the heavy lifting, slowly lowering the cab to the ground below. Next, a custom platform was put in place so the concrete blocks could be ground down. A black safety net was draped over the structure to catch any falling debris. The entire demolition was completed by the end of 2017. The only remnant of the iconic tower is a single-story base building that will be preserved for future use. Feeling a little under the weather? Code 3 Urgent Care and Pharmacy, located in Terminal 1, has medical experts with specialized training to manage a variety of conditions. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? I don't feel very good. Code 3 Urgent Care has board-certified emergency medicine practitioners who are available to provide the very best care. Located in Terminal 1 near the AB Security Checkpoint, the 1,500 square foot facility provides customers access to a variety of medical services. We're a full service urgent care. We offer a lot of variety of services. So think of cough, cold, congestion, sore throat. We also offer great services such as B12 injections. Code 3 Medical is open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. to meet the needs of airport travelers and employees who work here. The facility features two exam rooms. Another room is set up for x-rays and sonograms. Either a nurse practitioner or physician's assistant evaluates you and we give you the best care possible here. For passengers in need of a little extra care after a late night out on the town, Code 3 has an area where passengers can simply rest, relax, and rehydrate. After having a rough night here in Vegas, we certainly utilize that room with a really nice, cushy recliner. You can get comfortable, kick your feet back, relax. Should patients need a higher level of care, Code 3 partners with the Clark County Fire Department and others for transportation to nearby hospitals. Code 3 has pain relievers, diapers, baby formula, and a variety of other over-the-counter products available for purchase that can treat many common symptoms, or for passengers or employees who simply forgot a necessity. Antibiotics and other medicines prescribed by Code 3 Medical experts during an office visit can also be dispensed, but the facility does not currently provide a full-service pharmacy. Code 3 accepts most major insurances, but it's not a requirement to be seen. We do offer great cash pay services, very competitive. Code 3 provides a valuable service for passengers and staff who need high-quality yet cost-effective and efficient care. For more information, log on to McCarran.com. Spectacular and unexpected displays of art help the Department of Aviation bring the destination to the airport. Perhaps nothing is more synonymous with Las Vegas than showgirls. So let's take a look at a colorful company of iconic entertainers that's a real people pleaser in Terminal 3. Follies in Flight captures the vibrant and fabulous atmosphere of Las Vegas during the Golden Era and was inspired by a Follies Berger production number from 1983 at the height of the show's popularity. Artist Terry Ritter's career as a former dancer and showgirl gave her unique backstage access and a personal perspective that's reflected in her art. I was a dancer for 20 years on the strip, so um, I just painted what I know. And um, we always have beautiful costumes, uh, great colors, and sparkles and things like that always are part of showbiz. So. 
and Las Vegas. So that's what I pay. With every saturated brushstroke of her modern impressionistic style, Terry brings each showgirl to life amid an eddy of swirling feathers and bejeweled headdresses. Ritter's talent as both a performer and fine artist beckons the viewer to the Las Vegas stage, where her dancers effortlessly move across the canvas. I wanted to show the dancers moving through each other. And uh, when you're on stage, we're moving, so uh, it's really important for me to capture the movement. And that's what I try to do in a lot of my paintings. The larger-than-life three-dimensional mural measuring 50 feet by 8 feet took Terry nearly four years to complete in her private studio. Ritter is very proud of her piece that welcomes international arriving passengers in the Customs and Border Protection Area at Terminal 3. I think it's very important, yeah, especially when they are coming to a new place they've never been, and Vegas is like no other place, you know. To me, I'm in awe whenever I see any artwork and uh, I really love it in the airports. The bright blues and vivid yellows of Follies in Flight have immortalized the performers, producers, and choreographers who created the iconic, lavish productions that were once a Las Vegas strip staple. Today, Terry loves that the spirit and beauty of these legendary entertainers provide a sense of place for passengers at the airport. I'm thrilled about uh, having my artwork in the international airport because what I want to express was happiness, joy, camaraderie, and the sense of uh, friendship. I want them to feel comfortable and excited and joyful and hopeful <laughs> when they come to Las Vegas. To learn more about this mural and other works of art at McCarran, visit our website at mccarran.com. Click relax, then airport art. Now you're ready to pack your bags and fly to the sky, so have a great trip. Remember to check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and use all the resources of our website, mccarran.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Flight Path.